Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, it is a music Sabbath with a difference. And the text as it reads reminds us that all with breath should praise the Lord. We stand in at this moment to answer this call. The call to recognize who the Lord is to us. And because of who he is, we cannot but utter our praises from our hearts. I'm here to remind us that the Lord expects us out of his goodness to join him in calling others to worship, to serve him, to believe in him. And we thank the Lord for even the children's story that has reminded us whether baptism is really important or is it necessary and how can we be baptized? We are reminded by our strategic focus that we are a people in mission. And therefore, the Lord has called us to go beyond all limits in telling others about the gospel of his goodness, of what he has done for us to bring us to a place of soberness, a place where we experience his peace. You and I are called to be missionaries. And as we sing and have an interlude of music and the word, as we worship the Lord this Sabbath, I invite you to have a thought of what is it that Jesus really left his disciples with. And so, may I invite you to read with me Matthew 22. Matthew 22. If you read from the first verse, it's a parable of the wedding feast. And there, the people, their, their servants who are sent, sent to people who had earlier invitation from the king. So it was a reminder they, was, they were sent for, so that they would come because the feast was ready. The wedding feast of the son of the king was ready. Yet, when the servants were sent, one of them said, I just bought some oxen. Another said, I just got married. I cannot come. And another one just said, I bought land. I must go check how it is. They were not ready to honor the king's invitation. And the king said, what, how can the house, how can the hall be empty? So he sent servants to the byways and highway to call and compel, persuade everyone who would come to come. Perhaps today, as we are here, verse 8 should remind us that are we those who have early invitation and yet we might have missed this and dishonor the one who sent us? And this is what it says. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore, go into the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. So those servants went out to the highway and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good. And the, the wedding hall was filled with guests. My friend, you are invited. The Lord is the one who will make us good. Invite us good and bad, and he's called and sent us. We are a people on mission. 
I remember the song Rescue the Perishing, written by Sarah, by Sarah Flowers. This lady wrote this song, and not Sarah, but um, Crosby, Fanny Crosby. In 1868, when she first went into the um, went into New York, a part of the sea where people used to come and immigrants used to be there. She saw how people were, were held captives by poverty and how those immigrants living in poor status, some had run away from their homes and were there and he asked, young men, is there anyone who ran away from home and who desires to see their mother, be it alive or death in heaven when, he, when the Lord comes back? And he says, she said, meet me after the prayers. And there was a young man who went. And when they shared together and she prayed, this young man was pricked by the grace of God and he offered his life, surrendering his life to Jesus Christ. That night, she wrote, rescued the perishing. We are sent to rescue the perishing. We are sent to minister and think of ways of serving. And for 30 years, she became the song leader of the group who promoted and raised resources to help people in the greatest city in the world, the New York City. This choir, you and I, in our small way, can be ministers of the gospel. May God bless you.